Hello, I am live and I'm in the right direction. Sorry, there was a bit of a start earlier. <laughs> Typical, isn't it? Right, let's have a cup of tea. <laughs> let's have a sip. Oh dear. Hello, hello, good morning, Judy. Hi Carol. Hi there. Hi Shirley. Hi Rachel. Hello. Hi Ria. Hi Tina. Hi Kay. Hi Corinne. Sorry, I can't keep up. <laughs> Hello everyone. Hello. Hi Sarah. Hi. Hi Rachel. Hi Diana. Hi Estefania. Hi Maggie. Hi Victoria. Hi Sue. <sighs> Sorry if I've missed a few. <laughs> it was really quick all of a sudden. <laughs> Hi Sarah. Yes, very nice to see that you are all here. Yes, happy birthday Layla. She's been pampered all day. Little Madam is now in her new bed. Um, oh, thank you Corina. So I'm hoping that she'll come and join us later. If not, I have a plan. <laughs> um, so yeah, it was really good this morning. I had a little cuddle with her in bed and, um, you know, we sort of, yeah, you know, they do whatever they want to do any day of the year, really. Um, uh, but yeah, she's, um, hi, hello, Terry. Hello, Janet. Hello, Anita. Oh, goodness me. It's like from all over the place, aren't people? Yeah, that's great. Um, so yeah, so she's 10 years old today. She's been with us um, for, I think she was just a year and a couple of months um, when we sort of um, bought her from another family who wasn't very good for her. Uh, she wasn't happy there. So we, oh, happy birthday to you. For Tuesday oh wonderful 23 oh <laughs> uh, and yeah so she's been with us for nearly nine eight years and she loves it uh, well we think she does she can be you know her her own her own self uh, but yeah look she's just sort of twi tw twirled round in her new bed yeah I thought it was time she, she had a new bed um, so I bought two one for her and one for Ray. Thank you, Christine. Thank you, Laurie. Thank you. Yes, this is my, uh, the Grey Sparrow. The Grey Sparrow sweatshirt that I made. Uh, thank you, Corina. Uh, it's on the Drops website. So it's a Drops pattern um, and I it's called the Grey Sparrow. And yeah, so uh, she's. I'm going to brush her later. Thank you. Oh wow, Tuesday seems to be a, a day for birthdays. <laughs> Thank you, Marilyn. Um, yeah, I've been, since ever, since, whenever I um, finish this, I've been wearing it a lot. Um, I wanted to make this because it was a copy of one that I bought several years ago. I have been wearing that one a long, long time. So, you know, sort of various seasons. Um, I know, Kay, I know. And actually, because my hair was really short, it was nice and cut, sort of, you know, not cut into shape. But now I want to grow it again. It's completely grown out of shape at the moment. Can you see? But the thing is, I don't want to cut it because then it gets shorter again. <laughs> so we're just going to have it sort of, you know, a little bit out of shape for for a bit, little while longer because I want to uh, be able to make a ponytail again uh, for yoga uh, because when it was really short it was okay but I'm not sort of high pat I'm not sort of a fan of really really short it was good when I was on holiday um, but I want to grow it again so I can make a ponytail so yes so the sweatshirt Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Yes, it's a drops pattern. I made it almost, you know, completely like the pattern. I just followed the pattern. I uh, bought Scapius 
um, soft fun for this. Uh, thank you, Bertha. Yes, people like my video. <coughs> uh, so soft fun. And yeah, like I said, I've been wearing this sweatshirt. No, I can't, Diana. I can't do a sweatshirt. I can't do a video on this sweatshirt. Um, because, um, okay, yes, of course, if it, if I can answer it, uh, because it's not my pattern. So it's a drops pattern. It's called the Grey Sparrow. So do, oh, Sparrow, Grey Sparrow, Sparrow, I don't know. Uh, go and have a look. It's quite, it's a pattern that's out there. I, I, I'm, I just found it via Pinterest, you see. Um, so I do sometimes just make something that I fancy, obviously, because, you know, it, the pattern's been made. I like the pattern. I just make it. Um, and this is something for myself. And normally, you see, I can get away with doing like this, things like that. But of course, now with these lives, you know? Um, yeah, Laurie, but they have their own... Um, they have their own um, videos... And they have their own things of how. Okay. My daily routine. Don't even go there. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll talk about that in a moment. So yeah, so sometimes you can ask designers if you want to do them a video. But it's not always accepted or wanted. For instance, um, you know those octopus for in uh, in the hospital you know for the uh, for the babies for the premature babies um i was looking for a video and i can't find it and i really wanted to make one so i got in touch with them and they don't want me to do one because i was going to do it wrong and i was not going to mention blah 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 and blah 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 so you know of course i wasn't going to do that i found the written pattern and that's all they want to sort of send into the world um, they have got a, um, they have got a um, one or two technique videos for the for the octopus, but that's it. So they don't want a proper, you know, tutorial. I know other, um, yes, I know there are videos uh, for. Thank you. Yes, I will, Kay. I will. Thank. Um, I will. I will. There are uh, videos for that uh, octopus, but they're not sort of the official and they're not, ev not every rule is followed. So it is really difficult with that. Um... Look, this is how big this sweatshirt is. <laughs> Can you see it? Actually, the thing is, for me, this was quite easy to make because I had a sweatshirt like this. So what I did when I was wet, when I was making this one, I put it on that one. I sort of laid it down and I saw that actually it was the same size and actually it was the same length and and I only wanted three quarter sleeve, so that's what I did. So what I have been doing when I make my crochet, and this might be a golden tip for you, I have been almost copying my own clothes. So when I was making a sweatshirt, I put it on one of my sweatshirts. When I was making this, this was going to be a copy of one of the sweatshirts that I already have. I put it on that and I measured it, okay? Um, yes, I have a, a, a vest underneath, so obviously, because it's see-through, you know. Um, but I like the I like the fact that you can see the vest through it. So yeah, um, you know, if I make a poncho, then I get one of my old ponchos out and I put it on top and I check it to see. Um, thank you, Amy, um, to see, you know, how big it is, how how I want it now, what do I want to change, but mainly for the measurements. And for me, that has helped enormously. I've also made a crochet dress. Um, and I, I put that on, on one of my dresses as well. I make it according to the pattern, but I keep measuring it and seeing that it's the same. And then I, thank you, Debbie, then I just adjust it slightly. Anyway, so we had someone ask about my, um, this is going to be a very, very long live because I have a lot of things to do. There is, look here, my craft fair hall. We've got Layla to celebrate and... Look, the giveaway. This is what I'm giving away. Ah! 
<laughs> okay, so Kay, um, talking about my daily routine, okay? I work full time, as you know. So I get up at, I start working 7.30 in the morning and I basically work until my lunch break, which is an hour. And then during that lunch break, either I'm going shopping into town on foot or I'm crocheting. <laughs> then I work until four o'clock in the afternoon because I work for a different... Okay, I'm, um, I'm a translator. I work as a translator from home. So that is my big advantage, okay? Um, the fact that I can just roll out of bed and sit at my desk and be working within five minutes. If I didn't have that, if I had to commute, what I'm doing would be impossible, okay? I realize that 100%, okay? Um, so yes, so I work from home as a translator. I, I translate Dutch into English, English into Dutch, and I revise um, translations that have been done by other translators before they go to the client. So I check them. So I am like the teacher with the red pen, you know, and I reread the translation for them basically. And I go, chuk, 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 mistake, 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 mistake. <laughs> um, but yes, it is, it is, I mean, underestimated this job. Yes, I can work from home. Yes, I'm sitting behind a desk, but you have to concentrate. I have to concentrate a hundred percent. I have to, every sentence I read, I have to understand. I have to make sure that, you know, everything in that sentence is correct, as well as it being the correct translation. So yes, yeah, so that is quite, um, I am I'm behind my computer and I'm there, you know, concentrated. So yes, yeah, so I work till lunchtime. During my lunch break, I make the most of it. I either go and do my shopping, I can do a weekly shop in a lunch break. I have trained myself, you know. Um, then I start working again and I <laughs> generally eat while I'm working because why have food during your lunch break when you can be crocheting, you know? <laughs> um, then at four o'clock I finish or 4.30 sometimes I finish. And then, um, see, the thing is I start working quite early because I work to um, other time zones. I know you have to be so disciplined, Sarah. It's true, isn't it? I am going to do uh, tutorials on those, Anita. Um, but of course, the cal is still ongoing. So that's still a big thing at the moment. So I am preparing to do. I'm um, getting the wool for the ones that I'm doing for my mucha. Okay, so it will happen. And then in the evening, uh, generally, I am cooking the dinner. Doing some cleaning, some sorting out. And I am... Yes, Debbie, that happens all the time. I'm always correcting translations that have been um, translated wrongly, that have been misinterpreted, that are negative instead of positive or positive instead of negative. So yeah, so thank you, Nancy. Thank you. So yeah, my job is quite, yeah, the mistakes is unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, Marilyn, indeed, yeah. And then generally, hopefully, I get some time to sit down and crochet. Or in the evening, sort of, I've got like set evenings almost. You know, one evening I'm FaceTiming my mum. The other evening, or more than one evening, I'm normally FaceTiming the kids. Because, you know, they're in college and things like that. Um, then uh, I go to yoga three nights a week. So Monday, Wednesday and Friday I go to yoga. Um... Yeah, and that's a week gone almost, you know. Um, Saturday, I try to do uh, crocheting, filming and shopping, you know, for food and things like that uh, and cleaning. And Sunday, I am then again doing the same things, really, um, and then getting ready for the live. So, yeah, my daily routine is um, <laughs> it's quite busy. Um, but, yeah, we get... <laughs> I get some crocheting done, let's put it this way. Oh wow, Anne, that's wonderful that you've managed to um, get up to date after your holiday. And um, the Cal Janice, look on the... Thank you, Kay. Look on uh, one of the videos, there'll be... Um, 
there'll be a link to the blog. There's a blog, thank you, Pat. There's a blog, um, Ophelia Talks Crochet WordPress blog. And hi, Raffaello. And um, yeah, so um, you'll find all the information there. The videos will are, are online, are on my channel. So they should be sort of... Um, <laughs> yes, and I've done that before. Um, now I have to say, um, after I come back from yoga, I sometimes just sit in bed and crochet for a little bit. Um, but yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, let's get going. Another question. Can I have my tea fast? <laughs> Do you know, do you know what? In a few weeks, I will do a Q&A, Q, Q okay? Uh, where you can ask me as many questions as you want, non-crochet related. Shall we, what, would you like that? Would you like me to, um... No, and um, it's uh, not my pattern. Okay, how can I remember everything? Right, so and this is not my pattern. It's a drops pattern. It's um, grey sparrow. How? What do you mean, Kay? How I remember everything? What my patterns and things? I use my channel. My channel is my archive, and that is. I know, Pat. Yeah. So that is where I remember everything. So if I have to go and make a blanket or if I have to know the pattern for something, I have to go and look it up. <laughs> um, it's a free pattern, Anne. It's a free drops pattern. Um, and I just got the, the um, Escape Your Soft Fun. Um, yeah, okay. The way it works is with a, uh, a system online. So you see the deadlines and everything and it's all, it's in there. So there's no, I don't have to remember anything. I just log into it and I see what I have to do every day. Um, so, you know, it's it's fairly easy. It's fairly well organised. Yes, okay, we'll do a and a Right, so we'll do that in a few weeks. Now, next week, okay, next week I have a special guest. So for those, I will tell you all about that now. For those who are in the um, Facebook group, you know I have another moderator helping me and her name is Karen and she will be here next week. So you can meet her and you can ask her questions. <laughs> okay, yes. Actually, Karen and I went to the, um, thank you Kay, um, Karen and I went to the craft fair yesterday and oh my goodness, oh, we had such fun. Oh. <laughs> anyway, right, so the thing is, I didn't buy much wool, okay. Um, it was same old, same old. Rosie, Rose, this is the giveaway. It's one of my videos and this is the giveaway um, for today. So I will tell you what you have to do for that later on. So I need it from the craft fair. Let's get started with this because otherwise we'll never get through it. Um, so like I said, yeah, not much wool. It was same old, same old uh, for the wool. There was nothing sort of new, nothing, you know, special. So I needed some white. This has now attached itself to something. I needed some white. Yes, that's a good idea. I'll, I'll write that on my list. I needed some white, so that's what I got. So just some spell, uh, Starcraft a Special DK. It's not sort of, yeah, Leslie, it's not my craft fair. I can't really, it's a really big organisation. I don't know whether I can do anything like that. We will organize uh next week when karen is here we are going to announce a meetup is that exciting obviously it's going to be local to me so sorry to those who are abroad okay i have to start somewhere so we're going to organize a small meetup hopefully with people in the area 
Okay, so we'll see, we'll see how that goes. So anyway, that's talking too much now. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> okay. Yes, UK, De down in Devon. Devon, Somerset, you know, he just here, just to see if it would work and how, what we would do and if, if, if I'm going, okay. Um, <laughs> I know, don't, don't worry, Anne, I am going to, you know, I know, it's just, we. I have to start somewhere, okay. Um, I have to start some, yes, Shirley, oh, that would be great, it would be great to meet up with you. So yes, it's just because we want to start somewhere, we want to do it once and then, you know, let's try and see if I can come up with some sort of plan. Um, no, Pat, no, no. Right, back to the craft fair hall. Two more balls of wool. So white wool because I needed it to intersperse um, with some other leftover colours that I have. And then to be honest, most of my wool, um, most of the stuff that I bought, um, oh, is fabric related. So I'm going to be making a few things as usual uh, because I do like uh, sewing as well. And I give myself some sewing, one or two sewing weekends every year because obviously I have to do a lot of crochet and I can't just spend time doing sewing, but I still like it so much. And also I make project bags. I used to quilt, Diana, I used to quilt. I have everything to quilt. I have a quilt that I put together and then took apart again because I didn't like it. Um, which is now ready to be put t taken uh, to be put uh, together again uh, <laughs> because the way I put it together I didn't like it so I'm going I've taken it all apart and it's back in the bag uh, to put it together again but of course then I started crocheting so you know um, so I've bought this I've bought the pattern for this and look what a cute basket this is thank you have a nice day look what the this is just the cutest basket don't you think and you know I read the instructions it's so simple it's really simple so yeah I'm really pleased I got this obviously it's just the pattern um, and then of course I had to find fabric for it uh, which I got but then it's in a different bag so yes um, and all these uh, traders they give you their information so I'll put that there what have I got in here because I didn't open this after I came home you see it was really difficult to do that <laughs> this is some cord I need for another pattern I bought so I'll put that away yes nice <laughs> and look at this look at this fabric Oh, Joyce, that's wonderful. Look at this. Isn't that sweet? I think this is a Liberty um, fabric. And I just, I love it because it's so um, dainty. Oh, no, it's Moda. It's Moda. Okay. I know, Diana. Wait, wait, I've got more fabrics. I've got more. Okay, so I got this. These are like uh, magnetic clasps for, uh, for example, for um, closing a bag. So I was thinking if I ever make another a crochet bag, we could, I could incorporate this and then it would, you know, snap closed. So that's closures. And these are just little trinkets that I bought, which I like to attach which I like to attach to, um, you know, little things. Look, there's a heart, there's some scissors, there's a little bag, there's, um, what, what is this, a little purse. And I like, yeah, I like the zipper, but it's um, like scissors, look, and there's a little cat in there as well. I just like, oh, look. Look, oh, stitch markers. Of course! Look, there's a little squirrel. Oh, thank you, Carol! 
so yeah so these are the little sort of trinkets that i bought just to um, yeah i could use them as stitch markers goodness look a little key oh yeah i wrote on my hand earlier i can't get it off little sewing machine look you know so i like these little things um and then i just attach them in um look a little kitty cat i wrote on my hand when i was shopping <sighs> why <laughs> and a little heart look so yes yeah, so i like the i have a just threw them away i have a whole collection of them and whenever i make a bag i just stick it on with either hot glue sometimes or just to make the prep you know just to, as a pretty little thing on the bag so i wanted to put that on my little bag so i will put that here so i don't lose it and then karen and i each got a pair of gloves <laughs> gloves thank you Joyce I know they were cheap and you know but it's just look how lovely you know all in grey <laughs> and it was when you bought two it was cheaper so we bought two and then we each had a pair and then we we just bought you know we only paid the cheaper price so there we go so that's one bag <laughs> And in here, oh, I've got two bags. In here, I have more fabric. Look, look. So I was thinking of making that pretty basket in these two. In these two. Look how pretty. Oh, I really love that. I know. And look how pretty this is. And I was going to pair that up with this. I know. Okay. What I do when I go to a craft fair. Okay. Throughout the year, I save up some money. Right. So I save up about five, ten pounds a week. And I save it up. And it's in a special purse. And I keep it separate. So that when I go to the craft fair, I don't have to worry about spending that money. Because that's the money that I save up for myself to spend at the fair. Okay. And I've been doing that kind of system for my sort of fair uh, for a long time. I used to go to the fair when I lived in Belgium. I used to go beforehand. And I just did that all the time. Obviously, for wool, it's now different because I, I need it for YouTube tutorials and things like that. So that is, is completely different now. But for my other hobbies or for something like this that I just really like and that I like to do, but I don't get that much time anymore, I just put some money aside. And I have this purse and I always put it in there. I never forget to put it in there. I always And, you know, sometimes you have a couple of things and I just you know put it in you know um a couple of coins and I put it in or if you think oh I've I've spent a little bit less on something that you were you know then I take that money and I put it in there you know sort of a little bit of yeah just a little bit that's what I do okay so when I come home with all these things that's really it is really nice because yes I've got some money of my money left so that's good as well but I was able to just spend it and that is the nice thing about it. Okay. Thank you, Meryl. So, yeah. So, this, I was thinking of combining these two as well. Okay. So, I love this one. Yes, the cushion is for the giveaway for in a moment. Okay. I will talk to you about that in a moment. I have more fabrics. I know. It quickly adds up. Oh, Eliana, I don't understand. I'm sorry. Can anybody work out what she's saying? Look at this one. I like this as well. And then I always sort of find one that goes with it. So yeah, so those two. And then, oh, towards the end, we found this one. Oh. I have no idea what it says. I'm sorry. Um, so this one. 
completely different and then I would combine it with this. Um, so these are all those fat quarters that you can buy. I don't know what sort of um, size they are. Um, but it, it gives you, so I think it's about 50 by 50 centimetres or a bit bigger. But it gives you a good amount to be able to make something out of it. I know, I know. I can't work it. That's why I, and I, I don't know what it means. Um, so yeah, so I got a few um, basic ones as well. Because, oh, thank you, Veronica. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. Um, because I have fabrics left over. Hi, Kathy. And of course, I, I, I sort of made a mental note. I needed a uh, purple uh, to go with that. So yeah, hopefully um, um, this will go with some of the fabrics that I already have. And hi, Kathy. I'm fine. Thank you. I'm just going through my haul from the craft fair. And then this one, because this is quite a neutral one as well, which I think will go with, you know, quite a lot as well. Um, and then um, I got a set of these because I bought a second pattern somewhere and it's for um, a drawstring bag. Um, so I got these as well for making that drawstring bag because I'm going to make some drawstring bags for some friends whose birthdays are coming up because I've already crocheted them um, like everything that I can think of. I can't do anything. I don't think she speaks English so that's going to be that's what I thought was going to be the case as well. <laughs> okay so this was my list this was my list that I needed, okay, um, and I got, before I left, I know, I didn't get a lot for yarn. Oh, wow. Oh, well. <laughs> Maybe it was good that I, I can't understand it then. Okay. Uh... <laughs> So yeah, so before I left, I did look at my list to make sure that I had everything that I needed. So there we go. That was my list. And um, this is, um, when I make those bags, I like to make them quite, yeah, I'm going to. I know, Victoria, I just love making bags. I've made a tote bag, which I'm using constantly. I've made that bucket bag in which I've got my projects. So this is, um, instead of Bonderweb, or yeah, Bonderweb, um, one of the stand holders um, suggested I use this. So you spray it onto your fabric, it makes it tacky, and then you can stick it together, or you can stick it on your wadding, or you can stick it, you know, on your inner, inner uh, because you need two pieces of fabric and some kind of foam like you know what they put in um extractor hoods that's a type of well, not that one but that's a type of webbing that you need for uh, making your bag to stand up and this is the adhesive because i was buying that bonder web in um in rolls and it's so expensive so this was nine pounds and I think you can do a lot with that. It doesn't really say how much you can, you know, sort of how much you can do with it. But I'm sure it's it's a lot more. Ah, yes, so quilters. Okay, yeah. So yeah, this is probably what I should have had when I was quilting as well. But I never got um, that far because I just put my quilts together just like that. I didn't worry about it. But yeah, so this is something I'm going to be trying out. So that will be, that's good that I was able to try that okay yeah uh, I've got more fabric <laughs> I don't need more fabric I hope my husband's not watching <laughs> anyway he knows I've saved up that money so it's fine webbing webbing for the handles of my bags uh, I buy some and I get some uh, from here so um from what was that spray bottle called temporary adhesive for fabric old odif 505 yeah 
uh, Crea do in Utrecht. Yeah, Nancy. Um, my mum's just been to the um one in Belgium. Uh, Crea, something called I think as well, um, in Mechelen. So she went there and it was the same. She said a lot of um a lot of um card making and those little diamond things that they do now. Hi. Um, but yeah, so like I said, it wasn't all that much for wool. It was the same, same, same. So I just, um, yeah, I, I indulged in my other hobby. Uh, so one of these weekends, I will be doing some uh, sewing. So not this weekend, but next weekend. I've, I think I've got a weekend um, doing nothing, um, apart from the live, of course. And so I'm just going to um, get my sewing machine out and on Friday evening. And then I crochet. Ah, uh, and then I sew all weekend. So there. So you know how I like making bags, and I like them to like to make them special. So I bought this. So it's a panel, and it's like a money. So I, I'm going to make a bag, and I have this old jeans dress that I'm not wearing anymore. So I'm going to put the old, the one of side is going to be the dress. And then, yes, I will do, Sarah, I will do. And one side is going to be this. And then, of course, I have to have an inside and everything, blah, blah, blah. And I've got this one as well. Look, look, look. Is that upside down? Yeah, I've got this one as well. Look. So I think this one will be, be, I don't know which one will be recognized quicker, but yeah. So, um, you know, so it will come down, you know, like a bag, like so. So I will have that sort of as a tote bag. So hopefully, you know, and to pair it up with dark blue, um, with my old jeans dress. So really I'm going to be recycling the jeans dress and then making, you know, making one side into this. So hopefully that will work. Um, and that's for these. I got these handles to go with that. <laughs> Kathy, no, I don't sell my bags. <laughs> oh dear. So yeah, this is the first one. So this is the lilies. Also, I think I can combine that with my um, with my dress. There's, I've looked at it this morning and there's two, so I've got the front and the back of the dress, of course, and there's two big um, panels that I can use, um, just plain jeans, so that's good. Um, <laughs> Judy, when am I going to do that? Uh, no, I'm not selling them. <laughs> oh, just, it's, it's what I can get done in that weekend, I tell you. Um, because of course, yes, I'm taking a weekend out, but that means I'm going to be, you know, behind. I'm, I've got to work harder the next weekend for the tutorials, for the, um, you know, for the crochet tutorials. So, yeah, so it's a, it's, it's trying to balance things. And that's why I do really, uh, yeah, I know, I know, Anita, I do not have time to make bags to sell basically um by kim i just do not have the time if i had the time i would more than happy make you a bag um this is the thing judy it's very difficult to to um to uh film it because of that sewing machine it gets in the way it makes a lot of noise it makes you table tremble um so yeah any i have looked at that um i have looked at how to um yes two more weeks of uh patterns and then a week of putting your cowl together uh, i have looked at how to uh, thank you judy huh I have looked at how to do a tutorial with sewing because there's one of my crochet videos has um, has um, you know the huge granny bag I did an inside for that sewing and I was trying to set up my machine and I was trying to so, um, film it and I was trying to get oh my goodness I got myself into such a pickle it just didn't work I could not get the I could not get it in view I could not get it this 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 uh, so in the end, I just did it without even showing you. I just said, and I'm doing this and this and this, you know. So 
Uh, Ramona, no, shops are, clo are open here in the UK on a Sunday, but I got this yesterday at the craft fair. So I went to the craft fair. Look at this fabric. Isn't that pretty? And this is the opposite of the bag that I have now that I made last year and that I'm using constantly at the moment. And so I love this fabric. So I thought I would get, um, you know, I would get this in the opposite color. Then also important is to get by Monique is to get plain. <laughs> um, I also got plain because you need it for the inside hi Debbie Ann you need it for the inside you need it for the inside of a pocket you need it for a pocket you need it for something okay so I got some plain which of course you know you need as well okay Ina I will uh, <laughs> I'll think about that to be honest those bag patterns I've been using those for years and years and years they're the same things and I just make them you know um I'll have a look and see, um, you know, <laughs> what I can do about that. And then I also got, hang on a minute. Oh yeah, so I got a second one of plain because um, I, I kept thinking is one meter enough. So I got another meter of plain just so that um, I would have enough. And you can never have enough plain because you can always use it for something, okay? Uh, so yeah, so another meter of plain. And then I got this one as well. <laughs> Isn't that sweet? Um, so yes, so I mean to be honest, if I did a bag with this and you have a pocket on the inside with this and then you're lining on the inside with this, how what what fun would that be? Okay, so yeah, so um, you know, it's just or even plain and the hearts, things like that. So hi hi there, yes, from Phoenix, Arizona. Yes, this is the uh, Grey Sparrow. Um, drops pattern I made it just according to the pattern okay so yes so uh, lots of fabric because I am planning on making some bags I know I have some bags cut up already to be put together so I'll do those first and I am making where is it found it this is a kit and it's a little drawstring bag. Joanne, we are talking about my craft fair haul. So this is a little uh, drawstring bag. I have made a lot of things for my friends already over the years, you know, crochet related. So I can't give them another crochet uh, present for, for their upcoming birthday. So I thought if I made them a little drawstring bag, or I know Anya, you know, my friend who also crochets. I'm sure she would love this one as well because it's a, it's um, you know, a craft basket. She once made me uh, my sewing basket and I'm still, I'm, I use that every day basically because it's got my sewing scissors in, it's got my uh, surplus crochet hooks in it. It's overflowing with all kinds of things that I use. So yeah, um, I think I might make this for Anya's birthday. It's only next year, but never mind. <laughs> And then this one here, uh, I'm going to make a couple of those for my friend's birthdays that are coming up. I know, I love that basket. That's the first thing I think I'm going to be making, yeah. Um, and here it had everything in it. So it has the fabric in it and the drawstring. So that's why I bought some extra drawstring because of course I got some fabric, look extra drawstring and then I got all that other fabric that you know where the two go together um, so that's why I wanted to do that because then I can make some more drawstrings once you've got the Veronica I have no idea how she's doing uh, it's still freshers week hi hi Ellen and she's she's been going out a lot so I'm just gonna leave her to it <laughs> I'll wait for everything to calm down before I ask her how it's going <laughs> Okay, so yeah, you get a pattern, you get a little bit of a pattern with it, uh, you get a description, you get a description, and you get a pattern with it. I have to say, okay, I have to say, a lot of crochet people say like, I can't read the pattern, I can't work it out, I can't work it out. I have to say, please 
don't worry. We are very, crocheters are very lucky. You're, these pat the crochet patterns, you can work them out. This, impossible to work out, okay? Um, I go from reading this, figuring out the picture, and then doing my own thing, basically. I cannot work, I cannot, half of the time, I cannot work this out, okay? Um, so, never ever complain again about how badly crochet patterns are written sometimes. Um, this is worse, I tell you. <laughs> um, I do buy them because I want to see what they're like. And it does give me the idea of how to do it. But then I end up doing them myself. <laughs> according to what I know and what I've been sewing, you know. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this it's good. I mean, I read it and um, I work it out. But it takes, it takes a while. It takes a, a lot of time to get doing that new pattern. You know, I've got, like I said, I've got several patterns that I just do all the time. And they work and I know they work and it works. Doosh, 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 and that's it, you know. Uh, but yeah, exactly, Veronica. Like I said, I found sewing instructions are a real challenge. Noth they are, you know, crochet patterns are nothing compared to, to that. <laughs> And then I bought this. Yeah, that's it. I bought this. And it's a starter kit for another hobby. Don't. 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 Um, but I just... I've been eyeing this up for more than a year now. I managed not to buy it. But, a couple of times, but, yeah, this time I absolutely wanted it. I saved up for it again, you know, and I just thought um, it's called a block printing. I know! And, don't worry, it's just for a little, you know... <laughs> um, I want to... I know, if it's in your head. See, I love stamping. I've done a lot of cards. I've got stamps for cards and everything. I used to do that. I have a stamping um, stamping uh, tutorial channel on my um, Ophelia, um, Ophelia Crafts. Ophelia Crafts is my stamping uh, channel, which I don't do anything for, but it's still up. You know, this is what I did before I did crochet. Um, I'm not going to change anything you know I'm still going to be doing um, crochet tutorials okay just something to occupy my free time exactly Anne exactly um, and I wanted to you know it's like I said I've made so many presents now for all my friends family in crochet I need to start giving them something else um, and I thought this would be a great great thing to try uh, it's to stamp on fabric basically um, <laughs> Ophelia stamps what a wonderful suggestion <laughs> yeah what free time so uh, they give you it's a starter kit they give you everything to get started so really it's good because it gets me going I don't I and now each time I can just buy a new stamp and that's it you know I can keep going uh, I got four colors let me just show you the colors before I show you the stamps so I got four colours. This is a textile um, paint. And I think this is like, they go together really well. I've got green for leaves. I know, Sue, I know. Uh, <laughs> um, and I've got pink, blue and then yellow. I think it goes for anything. Um, and they give you sort of a little tray to work in with your paint. They give you a little foam mat to work on, which is great. I'll show you. See? So there's, um, everything's in a box, there's a little foam mat because of course the stamps are hard. This is your tray for putting your paint in. Um, you get your sponges to go with it. So to be honest, if I just keep this in here, it's not going to take up that, I'm just, you know, this is just to justify it to myself basically. Um, okay, so this uh, is my sort of starter kit and it comes with oh look it comes
comes with a little canvas bag. Okay, I'll tell you in a minute what it is so you can go online and see if they order it. I have no idea. I haven't even looked at that. Um, so yeah, so this is a little bag it comes with. So a little canvas bag ready for you to start printing it and a little tea towel. Look, a tea towel. And all you have to do is just leave it to dry. So you don't have to set it or iron it or whatever. It's I think it just left to dry and then you steam it or something. But I think it's it's really easy to do. Um, you can print on paint. Oh, you can print with uh, yeah. So blank paper, card items. You can print on um, fabric for the home. Yeah. Visit our studio, where is it? Oh, in Oxfordshire somewhere. It's called the artycraftyplace.co.uk. I don't know whether you can see this. Does it go, does it go in focus? No, I'll put, I'll put the link underneath this video, okay? So it's called the Arty Crafty Place, co.uk, www.theartycraftyplace.co.uk. And it's called Block Craft. Uh, and then there's some examples at the back and everything. Uh, so I thought, well, you know, I might even be able to use it on those um, plain fabric that I bought there. Um, I just, yeah, I've been looking at it for a long time now. Okay, excuse the noise. Okay, <laughs> so yeah, I thought, I know, Riga, I know, but, you know, it doesn't matter, as long as it's in there for now. <laughs> Do you recognise this? Looks like the tree from that uh, fabric, so, you know, I might be able to pair things up, see? I am thinking here, I am, there, there is logic to my thinking. Another little flower. You see, I, I thought I got some things that would go together. See, I can create, yeah, tree of life. I can create lovely um, patterns with these two flowers. And I have leaves as well. Okay. So that would, you know, they would go together. Because I took qu quite a long time uh, to, um, you know, choose the um, stamps. Because I really wanted to be able to combine them and make them into, you know, I didn't just want to buy, there was chickens and things. I didn't want to buy a chicken and then what do you buy? You combine it with. So this is quite neutral, but also I can do a lot of patterns with this. You know, you can just do lines, you can just do all together, you know. So yeah, and then the tree is nice. And then as last, I have this one. Because that will work on its own as well. But of course... Also with this one, because this comes back in the middle of that. But then, of course, also with the flowers as well. Okay. Um, and then the next time, I am going to buy one of those lotus things. Quite a bigger one. And it's sort of, yeah. Is it a mandala, maybe? that I think that's what it's called. Um, either a lotus flower or a mandala. So And that's sort of my, my thing with this. Um, maybe a couple of more paints. <laughs> But no, we'll see how it goes. Um, and, and again, this is one of these things that, yeah, it's 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 com compact in a box at the moment. But hopefully I can, you know, sort of use it for... Yes, I am... That's, Joanne, that's exactly what I want to do. I want to try and incorporate it into my sewing. And maybe even something with my crochet. You never know. Okay, we'll see. But yeah, I thought, yes, I've been thinking about it for a long time. And like I look, it all goes in the box. Um, so I was quite pleased that actually, you know, this is sort of like a starter kit. Um, it was a special prize because it was all together. And yeah, I thought it, it worked out. It's working out. <laughs> it's still working out in my head. And they put it in this lovely bag. Look, block craft. It's um, branded as. So yeah. Um, I was really pleased with that. So that is that. I think I've shown you everything from my craft haul. 
Shall we have a look at, at the birthday girl before we do the giveaway? She's still in her bed. I'm not going to wake her up. I'll show you. Ooh. Indeed, Judy. Look, what a great idea. That's a wonderful idea. Look. There she is in her new bed. Oh, look at that. She's fast asleep now. <laughs> Yeah, so this is her new bed and there we have her old bed. Uh, we didn't want to sort of do a straight swap where it was gone because, you know, you never know. She might be attached to it. Uh, <laughs> um, so, yeah, but no, we put it down and she went in it straight away. So we're really pleased about that. <laughs> Come on, girl, let's party. Happy birthday, Layla! <laughs> Big yawn! <laughs> she does. She's content. She's happy. She doesn't know any different, obviously. Uh, but yeah, she's... Um, she's okay. <laughs> I know! <laughs> thank you, Lou. Uh, thank you, Julie. Sorry, I read... Julie, and then I started saying Layla as well. Oh, I think I need a... Uh... <laughs> Pat, oh, Pat, that's so funny. No, we don't. We just have tea. <laughs> oh, thank you well, Ellen. Josephine. Oh, onze rey zie daar graag hoor. He really loves Josephine. Yeah. <laughs> She did. I mean, yes. I mean, the thing is, that little bed, she's had that for donkey's years. So, yes, it needed to be, um, it needed to be changed. Um, and we've got another bed out in the, in the utility. So, um, I am also getting rid of that one. And so we bought two beds. So, ah, uh, yes, Carol, she does. <laughs> uh, but not such nice presents, but there we go. <laughs> Sorry, did I miss something? What did Veronica say? Why is everybody laughing? Sorry, did I miss something? I did. I do read sometimes, so quickly. Mm. Come on, Layla, come. Um, no, Layla doesn't play with my yarn either. Once she ran off because I sneezed and by accident she um, she took the yarn with her on her leg. I know, Veronica, I know. Um, it would be, but how wonderful would it be? Do you know? If we could do that, I mean... Yeah, like I said, I want to organise a meetup. Um, I need to start small, obviously, just for myself. Um, let's keep it local. And I want to do something. Um, and obviously, we need to plan this far ahead so you can save up if you have to and come and fly over or whatever. Or I can save up and fly over. Um, but... I need to think about how we are going to do this logistics wise. I know, Ellen, I know we, we need to sort something, okay? Uh, only five hours from New York. I am. <sighs> no, no hints. <laughs> yeah, we need to. Yes, okay. So. I am going to start thinking about this meetup, okay? I am going to work out um, this small meetup first, okay? And I'm going to organise this with Karen, so we'll talk about that next week. But I want to do a big thing. Maybe it's too early. Maybe, you know? That's a good idea, Julie. Uh, that's an excellent idea. So for every um, 
you know for every new um ball of yarn you start you could put some money in a jar and see how far that gets you you see i've i've been earning some money with youtube now so i am thinking i might it's in a separate account it's gathering together you know and i did say to the kids and i am going to do that still um that that was our spending money when we go to new york at the end of the year yes i had i had this trip planned so yes we may be organizing something when we're there i know i know um you know so but as of january 2020 I'm thinking maybe I should just be saving up all that money or whenever it becomes all that money, you know, um, and see how, where, what kind of trip I can plan for me to come closer to you. Oh, Janet, that's exciting. Oh, <laughs> I know, Ellen. Ellen, Marika, in um, april kom ik naar België. Misschien kunnen we dan iets afspreken als ik dan dichterbij ben. En jij bent in Nederland. Hoe ver ben je van, uh, van Leuven? Dat zou... That would be... Um, you know? That would be an idea, wouldn't it? If I come to Belgium next year, I might be able to meet some of you there again. Yes, yeah, Zoe! We want to meet you again as well. So, hi Zoe, it's great that you're here. <laughs> um, but I'm thinking, you know, with the money that I'm going to make from YouTube, that you are make, that you, because you're watching, and if you're watching the, the, the commercials, a bit more comes my way. If I save up all that money, and I keep it in a separate, because it's in a separate account, and I save that. Yes, that could be a good thing. Yeah, hopefully, you know, from the pattern, I can get some money too. So, I will be able to use that money to maybe travel to the US and do a little tour. Or maybe travel to somewhere else and meet some of you. You know? So, if I do it like that then I can, the money that I get, I can put it back in, almost. <laughs> Kathy. <laughs> yes, of course, Kathy. I could sell bags. <laughs> ah, okay. I shall put my sewing mas machine. Yeah, but Pat, that's what you're doing. That is actually what you're doing. By watching my videos, you are funding me. Okay, so if you guys watch the videos, watch the adverts, you'll be funding me. And yes, at the moment, I am going to be using, because that's what I said, I already sort of, maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe I could come to Australia. You know, you never know how far this can get us. This is it. I could, I could, I could sort of go somewhere, well, is there somewhere central in the US? Maybe I could go central, um, west coast central east coast and then you know have three meet up things and then people come to there you know do you know what i mean you know you guys by watching my videos i know veronica i know i can make more patterns and the the plan is to do that yes if and if you watch multiple times if you and also it doesn't cost you anything to actually click on the advert and take you to the website and you still haven't spent any money although you've spent a little bit of time but that gives me more revenue from that particular advert because you you've shown your interest okay um so yeah so first of all until december um the money that i'm making from my youtube channel obviously because i had already said this to my children um excellent idea um you know we are going to have we, we're going to use that money as our spending money because that is what I said to them and uh, you know and also the, the the real the fun thing is they're now actually coming up with ideas of videos they're saying mum 
this would be a good video. And then I'm thinking, yeah, yeah, because you think you're going to get more spending money because it's a good video. People are going to watch that, you know? Gaia and me. Oh, sorry, I forgot your name. I do know your name, don't I? Sorry. Um, I have no time to do that. I have no time for commitment towards that. So uh, like a patron, uh, you know, you would buy into that and then every month I would give you something extra, something special, something blah, 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 or an extra video or whatever. I simply have not got the time. Earlier in the live, I told you that I work full time. I have a job, 7.30 to 4. I cook, I do yoga. I have so much going on as well as doing the YouTube channel. I love doing all that I do. But at the moment, to save myself from myself, do you know what I mean? I can't take on any more. I have to... Look, I've bought all this sewing materials. I'm allowing myself to do that because that's what I want to do. But yeah, this is it, uh, Pat. I cannot do more than... I oh ah Melissa I already don't have any time to myself all the time that I have to myself is crochet time okay so I'm still I'm just, that's the time I have to myself I have the yoga which I am not giving up because then I don't have anything else anymore um I don't know Diana but I think um you do um the more interaction the better sharing sharing the videos and getting other people to watch it is important as well look who i've got here oh happy birthday to you happy birthday to you happy birthday dear Layla. happy birthday to you <laughs> this is it um yeah i mean commenting sharing there's never enough hours in the day. I am tired every day, every evening. I'm really tired. Uh, thank you, Ellen. Um, so yeah, so I am, I'm doing what I can. I want to do what, what I'm doing. Um, I love doing what I'm doing, but yeah, I have to, um, I have to keep it simple. I have to limit things. Um, you know, sometimes on Facebook, other people sort of link me into other conversations um, for locally for crochet things and stuff like that. I, can't, I cannot get involved. It's just too much otherwise. Do you know what I mean? I don't comment. Yeah, I obviously, I comment a lot in my group, my own group, but I've stopped commenting in a lot of Facebook groups because it's just too much, okay? Um... And also what you can do as well is whenever there is a question, for example, in Facebook groups and people ask for certain techniques or certain uh, projects, if you share my video as an answer, then that will help me as well. Because I can't, then I get more views because I can't do self-promotion. If I do that, then sometimes I'm chucked out. <laughs> So, yeah, so it's not so easy to share, for me to share my videos. Um, yes, I am. I am. I do a lot of things already. I am trying to keep those up and I'm trying to do those well. I love, share, I love sharing myself with you. I don't mind. I do not mind at all because thank you, Melissa. That's great. The thing is, you see, you know, you've this all, all this, all this channel, this, these lives, the Facebook group, the Cal, it all happened because of you guys. Okay, you started asking more. You started asking for a Cal. You, somebody said, why don't you open a Facebook group? It's all happened. Thirty thousand subscribers has all happened yes ellen that's it all happened organically i i think i paid once um <sighs> it's nice to have you here i think i paid once for a promoted post just to promote uh, my channel 
But other than that, I've never paid for a promotion. Everything has happened organically and it has grown so much. And I don't want it to grow quicker because obviously it's just me and Karen. But, you know, yes, very important, Nancy. That is in the dad about energy management. Okay. Um, you have to manage yourself. Thank you. Thank you well, Gerda. <laughs> oh, Marleen, what fun that you're there. Bent. <laughs> um, hi, everyone. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, um, I love doing what I'm doing. It is, it is, how should I say it? It is getting to a point where this is what I'm doing. Okay, I can't do any more, but also I can't do any less because I have to keep up with certain things, um, which is fine. As long as I can do a weekend of sewing once in a while or as long as I can, you know. Um, so I try to organise my time in such a way that I do have some time for myself and that some weekends are in there. Like, for example, when I took uh, Rachel to a university. I know that was a long time ago, wasn't it? Yeah, Veronica. Um <clears throat> when I took Rachel to university, obviously I didn't do anything that weekend because I was driving, I was cleaning, I was cooking, I was sorting the girls out, I was, you know, doing all kinds of things for them. Um, but yeah, so that that's what happens. That's life, isn't it? Uh, but then that means before and after that weekend, you're doing a little bit more because you have to do an extra video for this or an extra this or that. So yes, um, the time for, for me is the time when I go to yoga. Um, and, you know, you just, I, I, yeah, <laughs> I'm okay for the, for the moment. I can't do any more. I really can't. Um, because I'm at a point where I just, yeah, you know, sometimes I know sometimes I'm like, oh, what do I do first? You know, there's so many other things. Uh, but yeah, so while the cal is going, I can start now. I can slowly, I've got the last bits of the cal. Um, thank you, Victoria, um, to be edited on my phone. Um, so that's going up. You know, I, I can plan that. I can upload that soon. Um, and then I can start thinking about other things to do. Um, the me time is fine as my crochet time. That's fine. Uh, but still, you know, sometimes I need non-crochet time as well, which I don't know what that is. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, this is the one I made. It's a drops pattern. It's called Grey Sparrow. Okay. Right. Shall we finally get to the take to the giveaway? Please, people, we need to do a giveaway. <laughs> <laughs> I never, you know, almost forgot to do a giveaway. Right. Okay. This cushion is going to be the giveaway. Um, I would like you to go and find that video and comment on it. Um... There is a video for it. No, actually, the video for it is a just the da is a daisy square, because in the end I didn't know what I was going to do with it, so I turned it into a cushion, and I really like this because it's like a field of daisies, and it's a really sweet little cushion. Oh, it's so sweet, um, and it's a really nice size. It's a hundred percent, sort of you know pull up whatever polyester filling so it's nothing you know um and yeah I really really like it but I did make it with thinking um you know I'm going to give this away because I would never be able to give this away otherwise uh so the back is just plain the front has the daisies on it I have been keeping it safe in my thing uh, up high um so this is the video that you will have to find and comment on it and saying what you like to do with daisies and then by next week i will have karen choose a winner like we did before with rachel choosing a winner uh, she doesn't know it yet karen 
<laughs> uh, but we'll go on to that video and if you can at all share that video with someone you think who might be interested in making this well done janet um you know find someone who you could um share this video with uh because they might be interested or they might be looking for an idea um and then yes robin i did that uh, but very often it's hard to do a random picker because i'm asking you to do something and before i did i mean i can still do a random picker um karen can do that for me but um i had to do the random picker three times last time because the person who it chose didn't give me the reason why and i asked for the reason why so i do want to make sure that i can't just choose anyone if they didn't provide the reason if there's other people who spend a long time writing out their reason then i think that's unfair so please please do remember you need to tell me what you do with daisies in your answer uh, underneath this video. Okay, so go underneath the video of the daisies and tell me what you do with daisies. And then next week I will pick someone who actually said what she or he would do with daisies to then win the cushion. Okay, and as you know, I send worldwide. I don't mind... Uh, where I send this, this is my, you know, this is my cost. This is my expense. I don't mind about that. I um, I don't mind about, uh, you know, the expense for doing that. Okay, so go and find the video. Right, people, I think we're almost there. Oh. Surely I have no idea how that would work. <laughs> See, my, my logo. Keep it simple. Kiss with one S. <laughs> keep it simple. Just keep things simple. Thank you. It's um, a drops pattern. And I've made it. It's called a Grey Sparrow. Thank you, Amanda. And it's a... Yeah, it's a drops pattern, free pattern on their website, and I used Scapius Soft Fun for it. So, people, I have kept you talking for 77 minutes. I cannot believe that. It's just this hour or hour and a half goes so quickly. Unbelievable, you know. We sh I I can never I can never tell you enough. You know, we always have such a lovely time. Yes, keep it simple, sweetie. Patty, you are the best. That's my new my new thing. Keep it simple, sweetie. Okay, kiss. Keep it simple, sweetie. Hi, Patsy. I'm fine. <laughs> right, so thank you, Carol. Yes, time has flown as usual. Like I said, next week, Karen will be here. So that will be a good thing does it have to be a pc to add comments what do you mean by that um next week can will be here we will um thank you well patricia uh oh lekker and day ellen um i am keep it simple sweetie yes that's what we are going to be using um i was looking for that second s i couldn't think of anything um Ah, oh, wonderful, Judy. Um, so, you go to the video of that uh, Daisy Square um, and I am going to, well, Karen will pick someone next week um, or we'll do a random picker and then we'll, we'll make sure that whatever it picks um, is, you know, a nice um has said what they are going to do with daisies um yes i am going to so that's uh, next week we will be organizing a meetup soon just local and yeah i am thinking about meeting all of you so we will see how that goes oh ria i hope that you snel will better bent oh die grip toch hè <laughs> uh yes so veronica um 
at the end of the cal about the last line people some people's work has gone in a little bit um try and yeah probably try and redo the single crochet line that you are doing to make up your stitch count again in either with loose attention or a bigger hook um, so then um, that should, one of my testers had the same problem uh, it came in a little bit too much it mine did as well mine came in a little bit as well but not too bad and I just left it so um, if it's not too bad you can still try and redo it and do it a little bit looser or also the line before that the last line of that of that um, by of that um, yeah some of the, yes I think it's just pat I think some of the stitches just do that naturally almost um, so don't worry too much about it if it's the last line that you've done and that's gone in a little bit do try and do that a little bit looser I think it's also the chain line that you have to do on top do that a little bit looser as well so try and just undo those two um, previous rows and just do them again with a, either with a bigger hook or a little bit a looser tension and see how you go but don't worry too much about it because yes it did the same for me I was still able to just pull it a little bit um, mine wasn't completely straight either but it will all work out keep it simple sweetie and I know that a lot of you have been saying how much you've enjoyed the cow so if you do not even so this is like for me I'm like even if they don't like what it is going to turn into at least you've had a go at learning a lot of stitches and with the cow I also try to keep it simple sweetie okay the stitches are they look nice they look really intricate but they are still simple so I hope that you are enjoying doing them and I hope that you're enjoying learning them and every sim every stitch can be used for like you know a whole blanket if you want to for cushions it can be used for so many other things so there you go thank you I hope you look forward to the next session of the cow <laughs> I'm sure you will enjoy the next um, week as well there'll be another bit on Wednesday with the lines there'll be another bit on Friday with the squares so I'm hoping that you will enjoy those two parts as well so bye bye everyone I love talking to you and keep it simple sweeties <laughs> bye 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 everyone, see you next week. Bye. Have a good week. Bye.